Hi, my name is Sonny Serenit, and I'm on the DePaul men's tennis team. And today, I will be reading to you Up the Creek by Nicholas Oldland. There once was a bear, a moose, and a beaver who were the best of friends, though they often disagreed. One sunny day, the bear, the moose, and the beaver decided to go canoeing. The moose wanted to steer, but so did the bear and the beaver. They all sat in the stern. With so much weight at the back of the canoe, it tipped and they ended up in the water. So they played eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and it was decided that the moose would steer. They all settled back into the canoe and began to paddle. The bear insisted on paddling port side, but the beaver and the moose also preferred the left. With everyone paddling on the same side, they traveled in circles. Soon their arms grew tired, so they began to switch sides. That's when they finally started to travel in a straight line. But just as they began to make progress, they came to a stop at a beaver dam. They all had different ideas as to how to get across. The beaver wanted to push the canoe, but that didn't work. The moose thought they should pull the canoe. That didn't work either. Fortunately, the bear figured it out. The only way across was to portage. Back in the water, the bear, the moose, and the beaver settled into a rhythm and started to really enjoy paddling along the water. But it wasn't long before they began to argue. They argued so loudly that they didn't notice the current growing stronger or the quiet rumbling in the distance. Until it was too late. The river had turned into a wild white water rapids. Thrown sideways, underwater, through the air, and everywhere, the bear, the moose, and the beaver held on for their lives. Exhausted, bruised, and wet, the three friends landed on a rock in the middle of the rapids. The moose wanted to burn the canoe to make a signal fire. The bear wanted to throw the beaver to shore to get help. The beaver figured swimming to the shore would be safer. They argued over whose plan was best well into the night. The next morning, it dawned on the bear, the moose, and the beaver that they would have to work together to make it home safely. So they climbed back into the battered canoe, took a deep breath, and ran the rapids. They twisted, leaped, crashed, and blasted through the water. The rapids were fierce, but with the bear's powerful strokes, the moose's steady hook, and the beaver's clever commands, they set a true, clear course. At last, the bear, the moose, and the beaver made it to shore. After a much needed nap, the bear, the moose, and the beaver worked together to repair their canoe and paddles, catch some fish, and cook lunch. Before they tucked into their meal, they all gave thanks for the wildest adventure that they had ever had. So remember, Teamwork makes the dream work. And always be grateful for your friends. Thank you for reading with me and go Blue Demons.